Hello everybody. So, I've decided that I'm going to make a video reviewing a stock called Plus 500. So, basically, what Plus 500 is, is it's a finance company that sells CFDs. So that's option contracts like puts and calls. Um, it basically makes money when they are purchased. So, this is actually my biggest holding currently. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, so I will say <laughs> that, you know, it's not technically financial advice, but I will also say that I like this company, and I'm going to point out the reasons why I believe Plus 500 is a really good investment. So, you can see here, I've got the stock price over the last five years. And over the last five years, the stock is up 280%. Since its inception, it's up 1,470%, and that's in about 11 years. In the last year, it's up 11%. It currently pays a dividend of about 3.4%, and it's got a price to earnings of 7.2%. Um, I'm just going to explain why this company is very, very cheap. So firstly, the price to earnings of 7.2 is pretty cheap in itself. Like the average company, it's usually around 15 to 20. So it's arguably a value company just on that. But the real reason why this company is so cheap is because of its balance sheet. So, if you go on uh, their full year results for 2023, this is the balance sheet. Now what you notice is if you look at the cash and cash equivalents, they have $900 million in cash. Now the reason why that's so important is because the market cap is 1.47 billion. So the value of the company is, let's say 1.5 billion, and they've got 900 million dollars in cash. So, let's say you were to buy the entire company for 1.5 billion pounds, you got, a, you'd get 900 million dollars in cash which is about 700 million pounds so if you take away the cash from the market cap you get a valuation of around 700 million pounds and the reason why that's so important is because the price to earnings ratio is 7.6 if the market cap is 1.5 billion but when you consider that this is a very cash rich company, sorry, with low liabilities, which is debt, they have 282 in current liabilities, about 300 million to, in total debt. But they've got 900 million in cash, and then about 100 million in other goodwill, property, other receivables. So altogether, that's around, we'll say, five hundred and fifty million pounds worth of cash. So again, if you take that away, it's around nine hundred million pounds valuation. But the price to earnings ratio. When you consider the cash and take away the cash from the market cap, now becomes around four. So you've got a company that's got a price to earnings ratio of around four when you consider the cash. And this is one of the reasons why over five years the stock has gone up so much. Because what Plus 500 does is it's relentlessly buying back its own shares and paying a dividend. You've got a dividend yield of 3.4%, which is high. 
That's fairly high. And now consider the fact that this company now has 78 million shares and it has bought back 37 million shares. So five years ago, this company had around 115 million shares five years ago and now it's 78 million so the amount of shares that you can buy is about a third less than what it was five years ago and they're still buying back stock so the price of this company is naturally going up because they're cash rich very low debt price to earnings ratio is low and they're buying back a ton of shares What's not to love about that? If you look at their profits as well, um, they've got a very high margin, EBITDA margin of 47%, which is very high. They make a profit every single year. You know, there's never been a year where they've struggled, they've hadn't, you know, they've not had that significant margin. They're always, Every year, their margin is around 40 to 50%. Um, so if you go on Socopedia, <clears throat> if you look at, at 2018 all the way through, what you notice is every year, profit is quite high. Cash grows. Again, the average shares, look, every year they're buying it back. 114 million in 2018 in 2023 it was 87 and this year it's 78 the book value as well going up loads just bear in mind the cash went from 315 million dollars in 2018 to 907 million dollars in 2023 and they bought back a third of the entire company and paid a dividend of 4% every year. That's outrageous. That is outrageous. They bought back a third of the company in five years. Their cash position has grown $600 million and they're paying a 4% dividend. Absolutely outrageous. It's like basically the one of the cheapest companies I've ever seen. It's insane. So that is why I believe, look at that over the last six months, this company has got a brilliant long-term track record. Look at this. Brilliant long-term track record. It's cheap, low price to earnings ratio, very little debt, massive cash position. It's buying back its own shares and it pays a nice dividend. What? Beautiful. So I'm going to give this stock a 10 out of 10. In my opinion, it's either the best company to invest in in the UK or there is one more company that I think could be slightly better. And if you want to see that company, then you'll have to comment below and uh, tell me that you're interested in the video. So thanks for watching.